Welcome everybody, welcome to another Affinity Photo iPad tutorial. This week we are going to have a go at doing the Joker, as we can see on screen here. So this is where we're going to end up. And we're going to start with this photo here. Okay, so as usual guys, let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is come to our layers and we want to duplicate this layer. So we're in the photo persona and we're going to hit these three little dots here and we're going to go duplicate and we're going to turn off this top layer first of all we're going to use that later okay so coming down to this second layer here of our image we are going to come here to the adjustment studios and we're going to pick black and white and just down here on the bottom on our reds we're just going to bump up the reds a little bit just make that a little bit brighter there we go and on this black and white layer we're going to invert it so we're going to come down here to our channels and here's our black and white layer with the three dots on the side here and we're going to hit the three dots and we're going to go invert okay so it's taken us back to color that's exactly what we want okay the next thing we're going to do is come over here to our paintbrush tool the brush we're going to do is in painting so we're going to have painting and the brush that we are going to use is number six right down the bottom here so number six in our painting and we want to be painting with white okay so what we're going to do now is just quickly paint over the man's face and it's taken us back to black and white but it's given us that look of face paint that like a clown would put on when he is doing his makeup now we don't have to be amazingly accurate I actually like to leave some of the skin showing through in spots it's actually not too bad you can resize your brush down here with the width if you needed to get into some of those smaller places and that looks pretty good we're just going to change our brush over to black and we're just going to paint back in the eyes in color just like that so we've got the eyes back in color back to our layers now we're going to do a new pixel layer and on this pixel layer we are going to change the color to red really nice red we're also going to come up to these three dots here which are our layer options and we're going to change the blend mode to color burn and i'm going to drop the opacity to about 80 we can always change this a bit a little bit later okay so we've got our brush we're painting in red our brush size we'll have a look at that and we want it just about the size just a bit bigger than his mouth there so when you're doing this if you're using an apple pencil or you're using your finger we just want to start on the left hand side of his lips here we're just going to brush across really quickly just like that we're going to do strokes like that because remember the joker sort of puts this makeup on sort of very quickly nice i quite like that i'm going to do his nose while we're here and then on the top of the eyebrows here it's like an upside down tick just right up the top here if you do make a mistake you can come over here to your erase tool and just erase and make it look a little bit better if you want to not too bad back to our brush tool okay so now we're going to do the eyes so we're going to come back to our layers add another pixel layer we want to paint in sort of a darker blue see how we go might be a bit of trial and error and again on the layers we want that in our layer options to be color burn and drop the opacity to about 80 percent okay and again Again with our brush you just want to sort of be sort of quick and sort of jab at it a little bit just under the eyes there and then sort of down like those triangles that he does so you can do this with your finger as well about like that we can even probably just drop that opacity a little bit more okay so starting to look pretty good we all know that the joker has green hair but you can't see his hair on this one so let's go to now this image that we previously untick and let's tick it and obviously everything disappears but that's okay so what we're going to do on this image here we're going to come over here to our selection persona we're going to take our selection brush and we're going to select all the way around the hoodie here all the way around we'll get the whole hoodie all the way up to the corners there don't worry too much about the inside here because it's really dark and you're not really going to be able to see that so but we do want the edges if we can get the edges so we can go in a little bit inside on this dark area here as long as we've got all the hoodie all the way around and as close to those edges as we can especially up the top here okay and a little bit more around this edge and we can see a little bit more here just around there so once we've got most of our hoodie selected like that we're going to add a 
HSL layer or adjustment. So we're going to click on that. We're going to drag that right onto that image there because we only want it to affect that image. We double click on there. We've got our ranges down here and we want to go to our right to get that hoodie to look green. There we go. Quite nice. Okay, so we can actually either come up to the three dots here and go deselect or we can come back to our photo persona, hold one finger on the screen and we should get deselect come up. Okay, so we're gonna grab this layer and we're gonna drag both of them all the way down to the bottom. There we go. We've got our first image, the second image with our HSL adjustment, our black and white adjustment layer, and our two pixel layers. Okay, the next thing we are gonna do is come down to the layer here with the HSL adjustment on it. We're going to add a curves adjustment as well. We're just gonna click on our curves here. Here are where it says spline and the square with the, with the uh, mark going through the center. And and what we're going to do is just bring this one to our right a little bit. I want to make it a little bit darker. This one I'm going to bring down a little bit and then just with like a little bit of an S curve, but with a little bit extra down the bottom to make it darker. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Nice and dark. Any other thing we could do to finish off is each of these pixel layers here, we come down to the FX, Gaussian blur, down the bottom on the radius, we can just pick one. A little bit of a blur on that one. Back here to the red, back to FX, or Gaussian blur. Turn Turn it on again, one pixel, okay and back to our picture of the Joker. Well, there you go, everybody. That is my take on the Joker. Um, I hope you enjoyed this iPad tutorial. If you did, as usual, please give me a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Please leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And until next time, I'll say to you, be brave, go out and do something amazing, and I'll see you in the next video.